our next uh, speaker is Carmen Trotta, and um, he's with the St. Joe's Catholic Worker in New York City. I am currently, <clears throat> people may want to know that I am uh, at my father's house. I um, haven't been at the Catholic Worker in um, a couple of months, I think, and uh, yeah, I'm sort of sad about that, but good to be with my aging father who is uh, not really capable of getting around on his own. Um, and so we meet today in the context of this uh, sort of voluntary quarantine. And, um, and I think in certain ways it gives us time to think, and I will only go through some of the thoughts that are sort of on my mind. The primary one is that the, the global pandemic um, obviously does not discriminate and really does call um, or hearken to all of us for a reestablishment um, of international law. Um, my thoughts also tend to uh, are sort of brooding in terms of our nation's denial of our our culture as a, a sort of a level four level four cancer. Um, I remember Claire Grady at one point saying that free market capitalism uh, is like cancer; it's unrestricted growth. And I wonder about the unrestricted nature of that, whether it comes out of ignorance, a sort of cultivated ignorance, cultivated um, by nationalist propaganda, cultivated by corporate media, and by the majority, really, of, of churches and parishes. If you um, go to church in New York City at, at St. Patrick's and... Um, and you will see that the, the front of the church is lined by police cars. And they, play, they pray routinely um, that we not be the victims of domestic terrorism. But they never think to pray for an end to American terrorism. Um, that thought never seems to pass. Um, I then also think of whether or not we have... People are so addicted to a sort of culture. Um, do they do they then bear no responsibility? Um, are rank and file Americans simply complicit, uh, complicit in the provocation of of climate change, complicit um, in leading us to a nation which is, according to the Bulletin of American Scientists, a hundred minutes to midnight, meaning closer to nu meaning closer to nuclear war than we have ever been. Um, unaware of all the various conflicts that we are in, um, including the, the coups, recent coups from Honduras to Venezuela. Um, so, so my hope is that we can begin to face the truth and that in a certain way, the community that is gathering here before you today, including uh, the guests that we'll see momentarily um, are an alternative um, to a re-embracing of, of an America uh, that actually cares about the wider world. Thank That's you. All. Thank you, Carl.